I could go back and let's just do one more icon. Hey, what's up guys? The TechSpot here and today I'm back with another very, very exciting video on how to change your app icons on iOS 14 on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch without a jailbreak and the big part is without shortcuts redirect. So you guys know how when you basically do the regular method that everyone has been showing you, when you tap on the app, when you theme it, it first opens up the shortcuts app and then it opens up the actual app that you wanted to open. Now with this new method, the app just opens up right away and it's super, super cool. And this is even better than my last video in which I showed you guys how to get these app icons because this method is just super, super fast to do. You can theme multiple app icons at a time so it's a lot quicker and therefore I think it'll be worth it for a lot more people. All right, so first thing you will need is Test Flight. It's in the app store for free because right now this app is kind of in a beta. Okay, so that part is done. Once you have Test Flight, you're good to go. Now I'm not sure how many people it will allow on this beta. So if it says that's full, it's gonna wait for this action to be released and yeah so yeah anyways you guys could see this link right here the second link will bring you to the actual app they need it's called icon board and it'll basically open up in test flight as you guys can see right there so anyways all you gotta do now is tap on accept and it's installing so let's say install and we are basically good to go. Now again, this method is so much faster than my previous method to theme multiple app icons at once, which is amazing. So it's so much faster. And again, no shortcuts redirect. So that's a big part about this. So I can see it brings this up from the developer. Welcome to test. Next, just hit start testing and we are in. So first you wanna do is tap on the plus icon in the bottom right and you guys got a blank canvas. So tap right here and then this is where you theme your app icons. So basically you can also create a background over here too so you can change the background color let me show you guys this quickly before you can also change to a gradient so that is awesome and yeah so really cool stuff right here we got a lot of customization and anyways you can also export the background so it could get it under device and have it as your background wallpaper but anyways let's get right to the app icon so again there is icons right there all you guys want to do is tap on into there and now let's get to theming our app icon so tap on the plus button however many icons you want let's say i want three icons okay so i'm gonna add three and now let's go and tap on one of these and we can name it whatever we want. So for example, if this is Snapchat, I'm just gonna name it Snapchat. Of course, you can name the app whatever you want. Anyways, tap on OK. And now what we wanna do is click on where it says action and open. So click right there. And you want us going to search for system apps or you can search for any app in the app store. So again, Snapchat is through the app store. So I'm gonna go right here to the search and I'm gonna go to search for Snapchat. Snapchat, and here we go. We're searching, boom, there it is, Snapchat. I'm just gonna go and tap on it and we are good to go right there. Now you don't have to change any of that. Anyways, all you gotta do now is go back and now we're gonna change the actual app icon. So right now, as you guys can see, it is blank. So we're gonna go over here where it says glyph, okay? And let's go and tap on the glyph and you can choose an image from here. So tap on image, allow access to your photos. And now we just wanna select an app icon. So for example, I'm just gonna do this genie one right here that I have a picture of. And so yeah, there it is. Now what you could also do is choose a different glyph from here. So if you want a glyph, you could just choose a glyph, but I just want an image, so I'm gonna choose that. So again, we're back over here. And anyways, I am now gonna go back. Now if you chose a glyph instead of an actual image, you could actually change the glyph color over here. So you can change it to whatever you want, but I'm gonna go back. And you can also make it glossy too. So if I go and enable this, you guys can see it becomes glossy. So if you like that, you can enable it or disable it, whatever you want. I'm going to enable it for this one. And then if you scroll all the way down, you can even change the border color. So click right here. Let's say I want it to be yellow or actually, I don't think it's working on this one. Let's go and increase the width. Okay, there it is. So now you can add a border and let me change it to yellow actually. And so yeah, that looks pretty cool. So let's go back. I can increase or decrease the width size by tapping on the plus and minus buttons over here. And so yeah, there is our icon. So now that we have our icon ready, I could go back and let's just do one more icon that is a regular app, like the stock app on iOS. So let's do, for example, calculator. So I'm going to go and type in calculator and hit OK. I can go and tap on open. And this time, since this is a stock iOS app, I go and tap on system apps and search for a calculator. Oh, wait, there it was. Calculator. Boom. And now that part is done. So now I can go back and again, I could choose an icon. Let's just choose a glyph for this one. To show you guys how this works, uh, let's just do uh, this happy face right over here. Okay, that's our calculator, or so winky face. Anyways, I'm gonna go back and go back again. I can also change the glyph color. So let's say I wanna make it, um, calculator should be like orange, right? So there we go, orange. Okay, there we go. And uh, glossy, yeah, sure, why not? 
and you can change the background type. You could add a border again. So I'm just going to make it, uh, let's do a cyan, uh, like that blue color. All right, it's not going there. Oh, wait, there you go. Okay, it's not going there. I guess I could drag it. Okay, there we go. I dragged it. And now I can increase the width. Let's make it right there. That looks nice. Okay, so now let's go back. So if I go over here again to my apps, I can go back to icons. You guys can see I have those two icons that are made. And basically, I can make many more. I could add even more icons if I want to make many more uh, right there, quick and easy. But I'm just going to go back and I'm going to just use these two icons. So once you are satisfied, you guys can see I have the two icons right there. All you got to do is tap on copy and go. So tap on copy and go and it'll bring up a blank spot right here in Safari. So now all I got to do is going to just paste whatever link it just copied and it'll be there. And there you go. Boom. Now all you got to do is tap on allow in this. Hey, it'll say profile downloaded, hit close, exit out of here and now open up your settings application. And what we're going to do is head down over to general and then scroll all the way down until you find profiles and device management. Now, if you do not see this option, go ahead and wait over here for like 10 seconds and it should just magically appear. Anyways, let's go ahead and tap on it. And there are our icons. So you can see icons, screen one. Let's go ahead and tap right there. We're going to install the icons. So tap on install, type in our passcode. And now tap on install on the top right, install right there, and tap on done. X out of here. And you guys can see the new icons right there. So boom, check that out. So you guys can see now we have the Snapchat icon, custom icon, and also the themed calculator icon as well. Now the moment of truth. Let's go in and see if these work without a shortcut redirect. So Snapchat, boom, it opens right up. Look at that. So again, I'm going to close out completely. Let's go back in. And look at that. It opens like a regular app, which is awesome. I can't believe you could do this without a jailbreak. Anyways, calculator. I can see it still requires shortcuts for the system apps, but yeah. Looks like that still needs to be fixed for stock applications. There will be an update available soon for this app though, that will make it work on system apps too, so you won't have that shortcut redirect on stock iOS applications as well. But yeah, so it's just really cool that you can still use this on third-party apps that are available in the App Store and it works 100%. Anyways, you guys can see just how much quicker this method is. You can create so many app icons and basically all you need is one profile so you won't have a list of profiles like my last video. So just one profile and I'll have all your app icons in there. Now, of course, if you do want to remove these icons, all you gotta do is go back to settings, general profiles and device management, go in and tap on into there, tap on remove profile, and type in her passcode. Whoops. All right. Type in her passcode. All right. And then remove it. And there we go. So now if I out of here, you can see my apps are now gone. All right, guys. Enjoy theming your app icons. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more. And also, check out my previous videos. I upload a load of dope stuff on the channel. Content that you guys will definitely enjoy. This is TechSpot. Enjoy the rest of your day. And peace out.